Welcome. I'm Sean Rose. I'm the assistant principal here at Rochester High School. And let me be the first to congratulate the class of 2014. Today is your day. Capture the moment and relish the feeling of excitement that you've brought to all of your family members here today. On behalf of Rochester Community School Corporation, it is my honor to recognize and introduce everyone who is up here with us on the stage today. I would like to start with the School Board of Trustees. <clears throat> Mr. Robert Poffenbarger, Pastor Donald Meyer, Mr. Joseph McCarter, Mrs. Melissa Lee, Mrs. Sandra Tyler, Vice President James T. Dillinger, and President Thomas L. Schwenk. Also up here, we have uh, Superintendent Daniel Ronk. <laughs> High School Administration Jason Snyder and Mr. Ryan Hell in the back. <laughs> Our Senior Class Guidance Counselors, Mrs. Christina Velasquez and Mrs. Wendy Turnedon. And our senior class sponsor in the back, Mr. Tony Stasiak. Oh, I'd also like to take a moment to give a special thank you to Mrs. Ann Beeler and Mrs. Kristen Horn for all their tireless behind the scene efforts of putting this ceremony together. Also would like to say thank you to Mrs. Calvert, Mrs. Smoker, Mrs. Gibson, and Mrs. Paris for all of their valuable administrative support. So let's give them a round of applause. I would now ask the following people to stand as you've played a major role in your graduates meeting this, getting to this point today. I would like for Rochester Community School teachers and staff members that are here in attendance to please stand. Thank you to all of you for your valuable contributions to their education. At this time, let's take a moment to recognize a few others that will finally be graduating with this class here. If you're in attendance tonight, please stand as we wish you the best of luck in your retirement. Sue Clark, RHS English teacher. Rita Funk, Columbia Elementary teacher. Kathy Sutton, Columbia Elementary teacher. And Daniel Ronk, teacher, principal, and superintendent. Thank you all for your years devoted to serving our youth here at Rochester. These graduates would not be here today if it was not for the love and support of their families. We would like to recognize and appreciate the role that the families play in all of their education. Would the following people please stand in support of these graduates? Grandparents and brothers and sisters. In honor of the parents and the very important role that you play in your child's education, we will ask that you stand as your graduates approach the stage and receive their diploma. And thank you for valuing their education. Before we proceed, please be reminded that the graduation ceremony is intended to be a dignified ceremony. As a matter of respect and safety, the board and the administration of Rochester Community Schools request that the guests consider the formality of the event and the use of noisemakers and any other uh, noise producing artificial sounds. Uh, the police will be authorized to confiscate those devices. Such use of an air horn will delay the ceremony and, uh, while the item is being removed from the gym. Again, Rochester High School requests your, and your help in maintaining the dignity and honor of this graduation ceremony. At the conclusion of this ceremony, parents and friends can meet the graduates in the auxiliary gym. And if you are interested in purchasing a DVD of the ceremony, you may do so at our RTC by next Friday. Before I turn it over to Principal Jason Snyder, I would like to say thank you and congratulations again to the class of 2014.
thank you all for coming this evening. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce the class of 2014's valedictorian and salutatorian. This year's salutatorian, Anna Barris, daughter of Thomas Barris, Melissa Gunner, and Keith Gunner. Anna is not here with us tonight because she is currently representing the Zebras in the IHSAA state track, state track finals. And it's 8.15, which is exactly the same time as her race just started. Uh, that was the start time for her race, so I think that's pretty, uh, pretty fitting that we're introducing her right now. So as soon as I get results from that, I will let you know. Anna will be attending the University of Tulsa Honor Program in the fall. She'll be majoring in sociology, and Anna's goals are to become active in the field of sociological research. Congratulations, Anna. I am a firm believer that each individual is created to be unique, given specific individualized talents, and has much to offer the world. But attached to each of those blessings come roles and responsibilities we are expected to fill. Each of us have our own path we must follow, or as I like to say, race we must run. I'm speaking today in hopes of motivating you all not to just blindly follow and go about this path, but to strive for more. I want you all to pursue excellence in whatever it is you must do. The pursuit of excellence is a phrase I have come to love. It stands in my mind as a bright and shiny statement, one shrouded with honor and admiration. One might ask, what exactly does it mean to pursue something? I asked my friend Miriam the same question. It means to follow in order to catch or attack. In excellence, what exactly is excellence? It is the quality of being outstanding or extremely good. Uniform definitions aside, the requirement of the pursuit will be different for each of us. If no two paths are alike, how can uniform benchmarks be applied? There are, however, three key concepts that we can all share. And if we choose to truly embrace these three concepts and use them throughout the, the race, then I assure you, RHS class of 2014, the excellence shall be pursued. In fact, I am convinced that every man, woman, or child who has ever pursued excellence in what it is he or she has set out to do has been equipped with the three tools I am about to spell out, because without them, excellence cannot be pursued. So, what are these tools I speak of? Faith, strength, and passion. Each of us is capable of obtaining mastery over these attributes, but let me caution you all that none of them will come about easily. Become proficient in these areas, though. Sharpen and polish these tools, and then excellence. Excellence shall be pursued. Allow me to explain. Faith. Faith is belief in the system, belief in ourselves, and belief in things we cannot see. Without purpose, each task seems more tedious, the silver lining becomes harder to find, and the weight of life is a draining burden. So I urge you all not to be discouraged by the tangible world by which we are surrounded. Discover and internalize your purpose and calling as a person and individual. Accept the rewards as well as the challenges associated with your destiny. Once you've come to the point where you believe who you are for a unique and special reason, the sun will seem brighter than ever before, even on the cloudiest of days. So whether you choose to tattoo it in ink, keep it hushed quietly to yourself, or pull it loudly to the world, that decision is yours. Just find it. Find your faith. After all, it is the first ingredient necessary for the pursuit of excellence. Faith brings about the necessity for strength. There is immense power in the spirit, so in response, it takes strength to believe and strength to maintain faith. Faith must be accompanied by the ability to never let go. To acknowledge your purpose is one task, but the strength to grip tight and trust in something bigger and more meaningful than what can be explained or the temptations by which we are surrounded is what changes the game. Refusal to let go of what lies at your core through every storm that may come to pass is an extremely notable characteristic. I encourage you all not to only find the strength associated with believing and maintaining a tight grip, but also the strength to carry. Faith does not make life easy. The weight of life will still register on a scale, 
but a chiseled mind and body, one that is strong, lean, and toned, possesses the ability to wear the weight not as a burden, but as a badge of honor that does not drain or phase. Gaining strength, though, must be a never-ending process. This process occurs through the strength of self-discipline. I challenge you all to learn to say no in the face of temptation and to say, yes, I can, even when you are tired or afraid. If we cannot hold ourselves accountable, then how dare we expect respectable actions and decisions to come from others? The world is not separate from us. We are the world. With that in mind, let us cast out our vices and hit the gym to exercise not only our physical strength, but to exercise our moral compasses as well. Many of you might now be thinking, where is the fun, the satisfaction, and enjoyment? The answer to that question lies with the third and final component for the pursuit of excellence. Passion. Love what you do. None of us were placed on this earth to be cursed. If you can find a way to appreciate all you have faith in and can take pride in your strength, then suddenly, life won't seem quite so bad. We have all heard the phrase, the hotter the heat, the harder the steel, but I'm here to say that it's more than just an overused aphorism. Take stake in those words. Actions and motives fueled by burning desire and relentless enthusiasm cannot easily be put to rest. One cannot truly pursue excellence without passion. Now, today, bearing the title of the RHS graduating class of 2014, have reached the platform at the station. We have done so largely on behalf of teachers, friends, and family. For, but from here, it is to varying extents up to each of us to decide and respond. Ask yourself, how will I behave when a structured schedule is not forced onto my plate and school rules and expect expectations no longer apply? Will I make the most of my days? Will you do what's right because you want to, not simply because you have to? I've shared the tools it will take. Now I challenge you all to choose to give back to society. Catch the first train that is headed in the right direction. In, in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3, we are commanded this. Run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Go now, RHS class of 2014, and run the race before you, and do so in the pursuit of excellence. It is now my honor to introduce the class of 2014's valedictorian. This year's valedictorian, Cyrus Holland, son of Scott and Carmen Holland. Cyrus will be attending Purdue University in the fall and will be studying accounting. Cyrus's goal is to obtain a Master's of Business Administration and to receive his Certified Public Accounting License. Congratulations, Cyrus. Good evening, parents, family members, educators, and Rochester High School's graduating class of 2014. What an honor it is to be standing in front of you all today as the class is valedictorian. When I started writing this speech and reading it aloud, my dad would continuously chime in and tell me how boring or how dull my speech was. <laughs> I rewrote it many times, and again, he told me he would be surprised if everyone stayed awake during it. Eventually, I yelled some vulgarly explicit th words at him, and needless to say, he never commented again. First, I would like to start off saying our senior class has vastly exceeded expectations as a whole. As we came up through the rankings during our middle school years, I can remember being told that we are the worst class to ever come through Rochester. But if you would ask the teachers in our senior class or junior classes 
I think they would strongly disagree. The seniors have been a part of various clubs and activities throughout the school years. Some of these clubs and activities include SCA, FFA, Student Council, Tri-Up, Relay for Life, Global Happiness, and many more. Not to mention the countless hours we've all put in as volunteers in our community. From an athletic viewpoint, we have done well. Our class has contributed to 17 TRC championships, and 14 of those came within the last two years, when seniors would have played a vital or crucial role in obtaining these championships. Our class has won five sectionals and two regionals, those all being played in volleyball, softball, girls golf, and baseball. And the baseball team's still playing. Me and my, team, me and my teammates play in the regional at Griffith High School at 11 a.m. tomorrow and it would be great to see a lot of support there. All of these achievements are team oriented that I'm talking about. There are multiple athletes sitting in this gym today that have also won individual awards in sports such as cross country, track, swimming, and wrestling. We also have two record holders, <laughs> one sitting in this gym today and one running at state, and those two would be Anna Barris and Pat Kays. Secondly, I would like to say something about high school. A lot of kids may claim to hate high school, but from a social uh, perspective, it changed us all for the better. We all came into high school as acquaintances. We really didn't know who we were or what we stood for. And as time went on, we found a solid group of friends that we could relate to and gel with. And we found ourselves. We hung out with these people for hours on end and bonded. Some people left our groups over the years and some people joined. A day doesn't go by where you do not communicate with these people. They are a huge part of your life, and you would do anything for them. High school did this to us. Without high school, there would be no support group. There would be no memories. Life, high school would be plain, dull, black, and white. Fortunately, high school has left, helped us live life in full color HD. I would like to give special recognition to Mr. Snyder. He is an individual who I think very highly of and have great respect for. He started off as my football coach and our freshman year biology teacher, and we all formed a pretty tight bond with him. Then he stepped into the principal, principal position as we stepped into our sophomore years, where he has overlooked operations and done many things that have helped the school that may seem oblivious to the naked eye. And now, as we are exiting high school forever, he is stepping down from that position. When you think about it, it seems that every single time the senior class moves on, Mr. Snyder moves on. So who knows, maybe I and some of my classmates will see him at Purdue next year. And I wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. I would like to give a special thanks to my family, my girlfriend, my coaches, and all of the teachers I've had throughout the years, and the Looney Goons, who are a group of seven of my best friends who I love and I would do anything for. All of you have had a huge influence on my life, especially you, Mom and Dad. And I know my dad's probably sitting up there with a straight face, and my mom's probably crying. It would be traditional for me to offer some advice to my fellow peers as we exit high school forever. However, I'm only 18, just like all of you, facing the same problems that you all are, which is most likely trying to grow up in this adult world. So I will leave the advice giving to our elders, but I will leave Rochester's class of 2014 with a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. It is not the length of life, but the depth. Thank you.
as this school year comes to a close, the class of 2014 will always hold a special place in my heart. Four years ago, this class came to the high school and most of you were enrolled in my biology class. I've been blessed to have the unique opportunity to not only have you all in class, but also to be your principal. In the past four years, I have grown very fond of these young men and women. The other morning, we were getting ready for commencement rehearsal, and it was 8 o'clock in the morning, and we had just all had breakfast together, and everybody, the, the senior class was in here, and they were excited because they had their, their gowns and, and their caps, and they were all talking, and there were parents in the stands, and 0800, right off the bat, Mr. Helt starts with his... Uh, his announcements and we had everything shut off in the gym um, all the all the uh, speakers so you couldn't hear the announcements and I was standing by this door and I opened the door up and you could hear the uh, the uh, um, pledge of allegiance come through and it, it had already started and it was probably a quarter of the way through and I was there was a bunch of things going on the the, the kids were talking and and I I think what I saw at that point was something that that um, made me probably one of the proudest moments I had of, of, of you guys. You heard the pledge going on and all of a sudden everybody got quiet and I heard people quit talking and I was facing out that way and I turn and I look in here and you guys were looking for a flag and you, you I, I didn't tell you to be quiet. I didn't and it, and it was a very special moment. And I also saw parents that were in the stands stand up and recognize the pledge as we went through it. And then we had a moment of silence. And it wasn't about the pledge. It was about you as a class. And I think at that moment, I really saw the unity that this class has. And Cyrus, you just mentioned it in your speech that you guys are a team. And it was that moment that I, I saw the transformation of the four years and what you guys have accomplished. And I was very proud. I want to take a moment and thank this class for all they've done, not only for Rochester High School, but also for me as your principal. I'm honored to stand here tonight and to see these young men and women begin something new in their lives. From everything I have seen from this class over the past four years, this transition will only result in success for years to come. Your journey through school has led you here tonight, where the class of 2014 becomes the 134th graduating class of Rochester Community Schools, and the fourth class to graduate as a new tech class. Tonight, we recognize the efforts of this class and the accomplishments they have achieved. The class of 2014 leaves a legacy of which we are all very proud. About 66% of this class will move on to a two-year, four-year, or a technical college. 17% will move directly into the workforce, and 6% have chosen to serve their country in the armed forces. The class of 2014 will graduate 98% of their class. In preparation for future education, the class of 2014 has amassed 660 college credits while here at RHS. You guys can laugh. You knew I would mess up at some point. So I saw a couple of you holding back. Go ahead. You've seen it for four years, right? That equates, the 660 college credits equates to about 223 credit hour classes and an estimated savings of almost $90,000 to those parents. 56 students earned individual scholarships at our annual honors night and well over $85,000 from our community were given to these students. The Department of Education has four diploma types that a student can earn. The class of 2014 has 84% of the class earning the more difficult academic honors and core 40 diplomas. You are an outstanding class of graduates, one that is going to be very hard to match. At this time, I would like to recognize some honored groups of seniors. 
first sitting here in the front row wearing solid gold tassels and honor medallions are our highest academic achievers. The top 10 class of 2014. Please stand and be recognized. Next, I would like to recognize the members of the National Honor Society. These students are recognized for their scholarship, service to others, leadership, and strong character. They are wearing gold cords. Please stand and be recognized. As I mentioned before, the state has established tougher graduation requirements for certain diploma types. 36% of the class of 2014 are graduating with academic honors diploma or technical honors diplomas. Please stand and be recognized. Forty-eight percent of the class has met the requirements to receive the Core 40 diploma. Please stand and be recognized. I would personally, I would like to personally recognize the students that know the risk, but have chosen to serve those of us in this room and their country. Those of you that are entering military service, thank you and please stand and be recognized. I find it fitting to recognize two people tonight, June 6, 1944, 70 years ago, was D-Day. We're honored tonight to have two veterans, one of which was at D-Day. Harry McGonis, a Vietnam veteran and our local VFW post commander, is here with us this evening, and Bob Bridge who is in the regiment that fought at Normandy on D-Day is also with us tonight. Gentlemen, please stand and be recognized. Gentlemen, we thank you for your service. As we prepare to present this year's graduates with their diplomas, parents, please stand as your son or daughter receives his or her diploma. We would like to recognize your contribution. Please honor this ceremony and applaud for each graduate after they receive their diploma. Seniors, it's been an honor to be your principal. I wish you the best. To the superintendent of schools, Mr. Ronk, I certify that the class of 2014 has met the requirements for graduation set by the state of Indiana, the Board of School Trustees of Rochester School Corporation, and the staff at Rochester Community High School. This year's names will be read by our guidance counselor, counselors, Mrs. V Christina Velasquez and Mrs. Wendy Turneden. Will the first row please stand? Erica Lynn Abbott, Academic Honors. Anna Grace Bars, Academic Honors. Brand James Hitchinson, Academic Honors. <laughs> Alec Lewis Garrick, Academic Honors. <laughs> S 
Cyrus Ross Holland Academic Honors Technical Honors. Benjamin Robert Horben, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth Mitchell, Academic Honors. <laughs> Brianne Lee Pollock, Academic Honors. <laughs> Allison Arlene Webb, Academic Honors. Catherine Eileen Resson, Academic Honors and New Tech Certification. <laughs> Brody Kane Albert, Core 40. <laughs> Quinton Lee Albert, Academic Honors. Danielle Lynn Allride, Core 40. Pedro Amesqua. Blaine Daniel Amick, Core 40. Connor Richard Andrews, Academic Honors. Jessica Nicole Backman, Core 40. <laughs> Kelly Jill Baker, Core 40. <laughs> Matthew Keegan Baldwin. Abby Jean Barnes, Core 40. <laughs> Matthew Edward Basham, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. <laughs> Dale Michael Beck, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. <laughs> Mallory Eileen Benson, Academic Honors. Garrett Charles Barline, Academic Honors. <laughs> Tara Dawn Bauer, Core 40. <laughs> Jacqueline Edna Brower. <laughs> Laura Eileen Brown, Academic Honors. Leva, oh, okay. Levi Colton Brown, Academic Honors Technic and Arts. <laughs> Morgan Taylor Brown, Core 40. <laughs> Tyler Wayne Byerline, Core 40. Austin Dale Eugene Calvert, Academic Honors. <laughs> Tanner Ellen Campbell, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. <laughs> Luke Sam Samuel Kennedy, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Carroll, Core 40. Yeah. 
Brandon Michael Cochran. <laughs> Celeste Nicole Cook, Core 40. <laughs> Christopher William Kearney, Core 40. Nathan Thomas Dancy, Core 40. Nathan Foy Davidson, Core 40. Brendan Lee Davis. Trey Sevier Davis, Core 40. Alexander Aaron Denny, Core 40. <laughs> Elijah Dreed the Trano, Core 40. <laughs> Renee Malian Dijinger, Academic Honors. James Logan Dishman, Technical Honors. <laughs> Clarence Dean Dittman, Core 40. <laughs> Tyler James Dan Auer, Academic Honors, Technical Honors. <laughs> Brody Jordan Drape, Draper, um, Core 40. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Evers, Academic Honors. <laughs> Katie Marie Feller, Academic Honors. Alana Renee Franklin, Academic Honors. Austin Lee Foltz, Core 40. Raina Kathleen Gibson, Academic Honors. Attention Andrews Grobs, Core 40. Anthony James Hainbuck, Core 40. <laughs> Michaela Grace Hall, Academic Honors. <laughs> Zachary, Zachary Wayne Hamel, Core 40. Tanner Cannon Campton, Academic Honors. <laughs> Kevin Dwayne Herod, Core 40. Good job, Kevin. Kaylee Machine Hazeman, Core 40. <laughs> Sin Cynthia Michelle Hernandez, Core 40. Nathan Blake Hicks. Leah Nicole Hoff, Core 40. Paige Danielle Honeycutt. Jada Renee Hooker, Core 40.
Victoria Ann Marie Hopkins, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Courtney Paige Hauser, Core 40. Brant Landon Howard, Core 40. Oh, how about that? Joseph Allen Howard, Core 40. Brenda Irene Hubbard, Core 40. Jesse Brandon Hughes. Aaron Darlene Johnson, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Sarah Nicole Jolly, Core 40. Jonathan David Jones. Brandon Robert Camp, Core 40. Kyle Ray Kachke, Core 40. Patrick William Kays, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Andrew Philip Kindig, Core 40. Bosley Quinn Kissler, Core 40. Cole Thomas J. Koch, Core 40. Caitlin Lee Kuhn, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Caitlin Eileen Langfelt, Core 40. Braxton Allen Lee, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Riley Tyler Lewis. Travis Dean McLean. Braxton Allen Malott, Core 40. Taylor Quinn Mars, Core 40. Cody Martin, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Kylie Star Martin, Core 40. <laughs> Alexandra Moniz Martir, Core 40. <laughs> Kyle William Mauser, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Laquisha Siobhan McAllister, Core 40. Jonathan Charles Miller. Krista K. Moon, Core 40. Carly Elizabeth Murphy, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Jordan Casey Nicole Myers, Core 40. Evelyn Orduño, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Paige Deanna Parker, Core 40. Taryn Alexander Powell, Core 40.
Taylor Mason Pugh, Core 40. Brandy Renee Reichert. Abigail Kaylee Rao, Core 40. Chelsea Ann Saltzman, Core 40. Bailey Amber Scott, Core 40. Carter William Screeton, Core 40 with academic honors. Mark Zachary Siebold. Allison Elizabeth Seiler, Core 40 with academic honors. Eric James Shanklin, Core 40 with technical honors. Emily Rose Shepherd, Core 40 with academic honors. Nicholas Michael Scheidler, Core 40. Lauren Nicole Shally, Core 40. Kaylee Grace Smith, Core 40 with academic honors. Wyatt Cordell Stidham, Core 40. Tara Louise Stoner. Michelle Marie Stiles. Chelsea Cassandra Toppelmeyer, Core 40. Mercedes Lynn Trusty, Core 40. Colton Carl Lee Tucker, Core 40. Seth Ryan Waggy. Taylor Lee Wilson, Core 40. Mason Dutch Yoakum, Core 40 with academic and technical honors. Kayla Christine Young, Core 40. Dylan Lee Zellers, Core 40. This completes the presentation of diplomas for the class of 2014. I declare the class of 2014 officially graduated.
pretty lit. Class, please stand. <laughs> 